to Banu Israel, the Israelite people, that he would send to them a prophet who would be their prophet and who would be known as the Messiah, al Masih. And when the Messiah comes, he'd bring back the golden age. When Nabi Suleiman alayhi salam ruled the world from the state of Israel, the holy state of Israel in Jerusalem. And the Jews therefore ruled the world. That golden age will come back when the Messiah comes. This entire subject is explained in my book at the back there, Jerusalem in the Quran. When Allah sent the Messiah, however, he sent the Messiah in a way to test them. And they failed the test. They said, when she came with the baby, but she was not married, they said, this is a bastard. وَقَوْلِ him, him. وَقَوْلِهِمْ عَلَى مَرْيَمَ بُهْطَانًا عَظِيمًا They hurled this monstrous fur on the fair name of Mary. No. She gave birth to the baby, but she was sinless. It was what the Catholics call an immaculate conception. When the baby grew up <coughs> and declared, I am the Messiah, they said, no. A bastard cannot be the Messiah. So they rejected him. And then when he started to condemn them for their evil, and in particular lending money on interest, they decided that he must die. And they held a kangaroo court and then forced the hand of the Roman government. And then when they saw him die on the cross, before their very eyes, they saw it. They said, that confirms he could not have been the Messiah. Why? Because the Messiah has to rule the world. From the holy state of Israel, from Jerusalem, and bring back the golden age. But he is dead. So he could not have been the Messiah. 600 years later, Allah waited 600 years. 600 years later, Allah sent down the Quran. And 600 years later, mankind learned for the first time. Wumakataluhu. No. They did not succeed in killing him. Wumasalabuhu. No. They did not succeed in crucifying him. This is your book speaking. Well, I can shubbihalahum. Allah made it appear like that. But rafahullahu ilayhi, Allah raised him. He did not experience something called maut. What is maut? Maut is when Allah takes the soul and does not send it back. Last night, he took some of your souls. Some of you right here. But he sent it back. That's why you're here this morning. Yeah. The Surah to Zumar. But if he takes the soul and does not send it back, that is mouth. That never happened in the case of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. One day he's coming back. When he comes back, he's going to rule the world from the holy state of Israel. Rule the world from Jerusalem. And history will end. That will be the end of history with the final and conclusive victory of truth over falsehood. The religion of Abraham, alayhi salam, will prevail over all rivals. But they didn't know that. They thought he died. He could not have been the Messiah. And so they're waiting for the Messiah to come. 
Allah's Messenger explained that Allah created a being and programmed that being to impersonate the Messiah. And so he is known as al masih al-Dajjal, the Jal, the false Messiah of the Antichrist. And he is going to rule the world from an imposter state of Israel, not the true state of Israel, an imposter state of Israel. And he's going to rule the world from Jerusalem. And he's going to declare, I am the Messiah. And they will all be deceived and accept him as the Messiah. By my calculation, children now at school would live to see that. And I've been studying the subject for 15, 20 years now. Mm. How is he going to rule the world? He can only rule the world if he can impose a universal political dictatorship over mankind. And he can only rule the world if he can impose a universal economic dictatorship over mankind. And he can only rule the world if he can impose a universal financial dictatorship over mankind. If you do not have eyes to see that dictatorship around the corner, then you are sleeping. Because the world has advanced far down that road already towards the emergence of a universal political dictatorship, a universal economic dictatorship, a universal financial dictatorship of all of mankind, so that from that imposter state of Israel, you can have a ruling state ruling the whole world. <coughs> My book, Jerusalem in the Quran, uses the hadith of the Prophet to Islam to follow the stages through which this will emerge. Three stages. Three stages. In each stage, a ruling state. And that ruling state take control, takes control of money. Now we see the link between religion, the scriptures, and money, and monetary economics. That first stage already came and went, when Britain was the ruling state in the world. And the Bank of England was created somewhere around 1796. And the process emerged of trying to modify and corrupt money. Britain became the ruling state in the world and Britain established a mysterious relationship with the Holy Land. 1917, for example, the Balfour Declaration. The British government declares it is the intention of the British government to work for the establishment of a Jewish national home in the Holy Land. Yeah, 1917. <clears throat> and then Britain presided over the birth of the imposter state of Israel in 1948. And then came a second stage, also from the Hadith, eh? in which a second ruling state emerged, the United States of America. And when the United States of America emerged as a ruling state, the sterling pound was no longer the international currency. The sterling pound had to give way to a new money the US dollar. And the Bank of England had to give way to a new monetary system from Bretton Woods, the International Monetary Fund. And now that second stage is drawing to a close. And a third and last stage in the historical process is around the corner. <coughs> The United States is not going to remain the ruling state in the world for long again. I think many of you will agree with that. A third and a last ruling state is going to emerge. 
who am I to say 